and Q, this is the thing. This is why I love statistics, like, because it's showing us and it's telling us in real time who's the main, who's a big contributor to the debt? Women. But they don't make up enough of the money to spend. So it's like you're spending more money than you're making. So you're you're putting on a facade to be like, yeah, I'm living this big lifestyle and this, that, and that, and the third. But then when you look at statistics, it's like, well, hold on. If the average woman really can't afford to take that trip to Cabo, to take that trip to Dubai, who's actually... Oh, okay, I see. So it's a, it's all cap. It's cap. I think it's because okay, of social media. We only talk about a subsect of men who can do that. Like a one percent people who pay yeah. for it. But it's social so media. Like, social media are, makes it seem like I am. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Miss Kay. Um, I was just gonna say, social media has given everyone and this idea that you know everyone can get this trip or you know have all of this money because before that you know you just saw your town or whatever was you know across the street but now every, all of these people are showing their best and then you think okay well if they can get it i can get it too and it's it's just a facade I, I, agree. I, I can i can confirm that motherfuckers are putting their trips on a firm after pay Come on. <laughs> Come on. Like, I'm from Florida. I'm from Florida. Florida County, like, Miami, right down the street. Like I'm we see this in Orlando, Tampa. I'm in Jacksonville. Like, this isn't just some social media phenomenon. Like, women are literally, y'all probably have friends who do this. Put it on their credit card and worry about the repercussions later. Come on now, we can't fact, act like that's fact, not happening. I'm not speaking a woman. Or they have I'm men paying for it. Come on now. Or they have I'm men paying for it. How many men have paying for it? I'm not looking at her. Y'all do know sugar daddies are a thing, right? Houston is the number one capital for sugar daddies. There's a lot of people out here that has sugar daddies but don't want to admit it. There's a lot mm. of women out here that are buying stuff, they are getting stuff, and they're not even paying for it because they have a sugar daddy. And what are they doing to get it? They're giving it up. Come on. And sometimes they Most don't even got to give it up. Or, or sometimes they don't have to give it up. Men Talk will send them cash apps or, or stuff just randomly. Yeah, Q knows. Them are sugar daddies. Them are just simps. But, yeah, but, that, doesn't mean I'm picking a woman. but that, that doesn't mean I'm picking a woman based on her tax break. I'm not I'm not searching out a woman like who she makes 350 in any time. No. But you I'm say that until... at what is... Go ahead. I'm not... I'm, I'm, I'm no. If I'm going, I'm not. But it's the innate qualities that bring certain things. I don't give a fuck how much money you bring in. You can be true, ridiculous, true. but if you don't, I don't mean to know how to raise or raise a family or garner certain things for a family to thrive. That means, that has absolutely. That means you, either one or two things. You're extremely effective at what you do, or you're extremely lucky at what it is that you can get. But it, it has no. It has no bearing on the type of person. Absolutely. I, I get what he's see, saying. Because see, let's say, say you guys dated, sorry, if men dated more chicks in their tax bracket, that means you're going to be more working more. So now if you're going to date a chick that's making money, she's working more. So who's going to be taking care of the house? Who's going to be helping with the kids? Right? right? You're not no, going to have my that. My man, that man. Right. Your name, your name. But see, I agree with Anton, though. No, I don't think men should be dating in their tax bracket. I think women should be dating in their tax bracket because it's more realistic. Wait, make that make sense. If a okay, woman is going to date nobody, listen, no way. Listen, a man is going to date in their, their tax bracket. Real. So listen. make this make sense. If oh. I was making 40K, right, mm -hmm. and I wanted to, you said date in my tax bracket, pretend Quinn is, makes 40K. Yeah. But so me and him should date. No pretending. Okay. That should be the ideal base. It has a lot of factors. How old you broke are. People need to broke people. Just say that. Broke people need yeah. to be with broke people. And rich people need to be with rich people. That's what it should be then. Yeah, I can agree with that. I mean, that, that, her money don't need that. I don't even understand. This That's cat. Hey, you she, have to stop saying If, if she marries me, her money don't mean nothing. That's bullshit. We live off <laughs> That's bullshit. Yeah, we're we're together. Like, once fam, you become married, your no, income 
point. Yes, y'all have to stop acting like yeah, okay. we live no, in this. No, for rich people, her money doesn't matter. Allowed. You are one. It's not a separate Fam. thing anymore. You're yeah. married. What, now. I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, is that we're not using her income as uh, what's it called? There, there's but going it's to be y'all's uh, income. It's income. not her income there, or your income. Active income, and there's up. To, there's up to, huh? No, there is no more me and her. It's us. Thank no, you, I get what bro. he's saying though. But a man that makes money, he don't give a he don't care about her pennies. But <laughs> most men don't, don't make money though. I'm not, what I'm saying is this though. Let me clear up and make sure I, I, I take Can you turn clear. your mic up a little bit louder? Is you can't really hear you. That's why. Or can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you a little better. We'll try. But what I'm saying is obviously our incomes are coming together. But they're different. What are the different avenues that you're using your income for? Both of y'all aren't gonna have active income that both are gonna be paying bills or doing something. Who's in Y'all shouldn't be together. Huh? Y'all shouldn't be together. If one person is only gonna be, if there's only gonna be one person paying bills, why are y'all together? I can bro, pay we gotta stop acting bills. like everybody's a millionaire, bro. Like the average American does not make a hundred k a year. Let's just let's stop uh, this idea that I'm gonna just pay all the bills. I'm gonna be like my that's great granddaddy. You're not, fam. The average man is not doing that's that. Not, that's not what I'm. I'm not saying that. You legit said you don't care investment? about your wife's income. Who's let's talk to the average for the family. Both of you. So yeah, most most American. So I get both what both y'all saying. To the rich people standards, they don't care about their wives' income. But most right. of America, they need two incomes to, to sustain their household. Exactly. No, no I'm, I'm saying, okay, like, no, who's the leader in this family? No, I, I, I can't I can't understand. Who's the leader in this family? If, if the man. You, you're supposed to, which means you're supposed to be making financial decisions that take the family further, right? You're right. Mean, and that means, I'm wait a minute. Incomes. Hold on, Leon. Let me just say it this way. And that means a man takes his wife's money, put it in his bank account, give her the money to pay the bills. And if he decides to give her more money on the side, then that's what he does. But Talk at the end of the day, the man should have, he should have the responsibility of all the money that comes into the household. Talk your shit. I just said the same thing. That's all. I just said that. <laughs> We can't hear you, Yam. Your your audio. I just I just said that. I, I was just saying there's active active income and like investment income. That's all I said. I never said that we have. What's separate the difference between active income different. and investing income? There should be just be income. Be passive income too. Is that what you're saying? No, it's, it's uh, account one on one. You have different. <laughs> I know there's different levels of income, but what I'm saying is you're talking about there's a passive income and then there's investment income when it comes to a relationship. That's not true. That's it's just one, it's just two separate incomes, whatever they however they get their money, that's fine. But at the end of the day, there's two separate incomes. Let me let me let me let me figure this out real quick. Let me Carrie, what's going on? What's up, Carrie? Hey Anson. How do you feel about this, Carrie? I don't really feel anything about it because I don't think it's a real, like, I don't think it's a real thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, maybe times have just totally changed from back when, but I just don't, it doesn't Niggas just get together. Huh? I said people just I mean, get together and figure it out. Well, well, because even if it, even if I thought that men should only date in their tax bracket or women, like how would that really, how would you even really do that? Like, is that a qualifying question? Is it, like, you know, what I'm saying like it just doesn't seem like a realistic. It's an unconscious thing. It's, like, it's not though. Like, are you out here date? Do you date? Are you married? What are you, Leon? No, I'm single. Like when you date a woman, like what are your conversations like? Like when I first meet a woman, the first thing on my mind is, "Damn, how much money she make?" Obviously, the first thing is like, "Oh, okay, how attractive, how attractive she is, uh, how does she speak to me, how does she communicate, shit like that." That's like the first thing. But after we break through that barrier, now I want to see, okay, is this somebody that I can see myself with? decades and decades down the line is this somebody that i'm willing to die for is this someone i'm willing to protect so i get what yam is saying off face value but once you peel that layer back that's where 
the problem seems to be coming from. Hmm. If that answers the question. I do not believe that you're vetting for no wife, bro. Stop it. Oh, yeah. Not right now. Nah. I'll tell you that straight up. But I'm just answering so, this question. So why are, you, why are you going into this whole soliloquy about what it is that she, rest of my life, all of this stuff? Because you he ain't thinking me, about that. Because that's what he asked me. You think about that when you're dealing with a chick? My last girlfriend, yeah. Not just, like, when you single, clearly, because I'm not going to be like, yeah, I, I'm out here looking for a wife. No, nah, I'm going to get my rocks off. But when I was my last relationship, I did view her as this is somebody that I could potentially be a husband with. So what so, happened? Uh, let's just Hello? say. When that's the answer, nigga. Let me see a lie. Let me see a lie. He's yeah, niggas, they, niggas turn into turn Tony the Tiger all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> nah. what happened? I can see her for the rest uh, of my life. Okay, what, what, what happened? Yeah, we had, let's just say we had conflicting, we had conflicting views on how to raise children. Let's just say it, say it like that. How long y'all dated? No, I was playing stepdad. Ooh. Don't kill me, don't kill me Anton, Step baby daddy in this bitch. Step baby daddy. Just relax. I learned my lesson. Oh. Oh. Nah, I went fuck Russell Wilson. I didn't win future. Never again. You was a, you was playing step baby daddy, bro. I was the biggest simp. I ain't even gonna hold you, big dog. Now that I look oh, back, I'm like, what are you doing? God. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, it was. It was it was bad. I ain't gonna hold. Oh you. my god! How long did you date her for? <laughs> uh, about a year and a half. How many children she got? She just had one. This ain't oh, adding up. Man. So it took you a year and a half to realize you guys have child parent parent differences, co parenting differences. Not a year and a half. I'd say like six months. But when you in it, you thinking, oh, she gonna change, and damn, this pussy so good, but. At the end of the day, you sold actively though because she already had a kid, you know. Yeah, you said what you already saw it because she already had a kid, you know. How old was the kid? Her parenting ways, she was two at the time. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. The child was two and you was with her for a year and a half, so you was with her when the baby came out the womb, fresh basically. No, she was two when I got with her, the baby girl. Oh, okay, okay, that's a baby, baby. This is yeah. crazy. So, so there was also, a you were the that. baby and changing diapers? I love that. Yeah, I was so, doing so, the daddy, daddy. So there was a discrepancy. <laughs> I was love that. Much. Nah, I don't love it. Stop. So you Stop. didn't like the way she was raising her kid? Is that what was that the problem? No, nah, he was getting emotionally attached to another man's child. Right. That's what it was. <laughs> Wait, so that's why you ended with her? Because you were getting too attached to the baby? That wasn't your This is what it was. The way she parented, I didn't. I didn't come from that. I came, I got both my parents. I got my grandparents in my life. I have a big family. Wait, so was it a girl or a boy? Was it a girl? It was or a boy? girl. Oh, and she, the stuff, and the she stuff definitely that she was said, doing, You ain't my daddy. No, no, no. Nothing like that. She looked at me. Let's she not really get into that. Well, yeah. no, no, no. That's when he met her. Yeah, she was walking and saying little yeah, words. Yeah, three, three, three little words. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Was it?